Hello, Dr. J here. Capacitors are probably the most common component found in electronics next to resistors and they come in many shapes and sizes. They are two lead devices consisting of two conducting plates, one shown here and another separated by an air gap. Okay, so basically you have two conducting plates separated by some insulator. In this case, this is an air gap. And usually we put an insulator here to increase the capacitance. Now like the inductor, it has inertial properties where the capacitor resists instantaneous changes in the voltage while an inductor resists instantaneous changes in the current. Also, capacitors store electrical energy while inductors store magnetic energy. Shown here is the capacitance and for this example the unit of capacitance is the farad and in here we have 0.89 times 10 to the minus 13 farads or 0.089 picofarads. You could see the capacitance is shown here and we can increase the capacitance in several ways. One is to decrease the distance between them and another one is to increase the area. Okay. Now as I increase the voltage we're accumulating charge on these pl plates, capacitor plates. And as I increase the voltage we carry more charge. Hence the amount of charge is proportional to the applied voltage for a given capacitance. Now as I said before we can increase the capacitance by decreasing the separation between these plates or increasing the area. So let's take a look at the plate charge that's shown here in the red bar graph. We see here we have 0.56 times 10 to the minus 13 coulombs. Now let me just increase the voltage and you can see I'm increasing the charge as I increase the voltage proportionally. Now uh, let's see how the amount of charge increases as I change the separation. So when I change the separation you can see we increase both the capacitance which means we also increase the charge. We can also increase the capacitance by increasing the plate size. Now let's look at the electric field. Let me reset all the parameters. Show the capacitance, the plate, and the stored energy. So as we increase the voltage, we're increasing the stored energy. And as we decrease the separation between the two plates, we're increasing the energy. And as I increase the plate area, we're increasing the stored energy. So as more charges appear in each of the plates, we're increasing the stored energy. Now let's look at the effect of the electric field which has units of volts per meter and you get that in more detail in a physics electromagnetic course. So right now it reads here 150 millivolts and as I decrease you could see the electric field changes as I reverse the polarity from positive to negative. Okay, And you can see the accumulation of charge and the, how the charges change colors when I reverse the polarity. Now let's look at the voltmeter while I get rid of the electric field de detector. And the red probe is on the top plate and the black probe is at the bottom plate. Here the voltage is reversed and you can see the voltage reads negative 1.5 volts. And as I change it you can see the amount of voltage decreases to zero because there's no charge basically accumulated there. And as I increase to a, the maximum of 1.5 volts on the positive side, we have more charges accumulated on the top plate. And we see our voltmeter reads 
1.5 volts which we have a lot of stored energy in this case it's 1.48 times 10 to the minus 13 joules we have charges and we have uh, basically a max out in the capacitance so that's your quick introduction to the capacitor from a simulation perspective